Hi guys, you might recognize this. It's the Tesla Radiant Energy Generator. I finally got myself some geranium 1N34 diodes to get this thing to work. Um, the silicone diodes, I couldn't get anything out of those or anything. So I wanted to show you some neat things that I found out with this. Um, right now, what I have it hooked up as, I just have um, those two alligator clips there are my leads to my multimeter. But you can see I'm reading 2.84 volts. And this isn't under load yet. I'm going to show you what a load looks like on it. But the antenna here goes over here, down there, up past my guitar, up to the window. And that's a CFL with one of those round aluminum things on it. And it's just clipped onto there. It's a 13 watt CFL bulb. And I got this idea to hook it up to there from another YouTube user. I don't remember his name offhand. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description. He did his with a larger bulb and got more voltage. But I'm doing this down in my basement, so I don't get a lot of radiant energy down there. But Anyway, okay, let me show you what I found. Okay, I got 2.83, 2.84 volts. Okay, well, now what we have here, if you notice the toroid, you probably guessed that it is a jewel thief. So I'm running off the positive. Whoops. Sorry about that. Running off the positive here. Going to the input of the jewel thief. And then off the negative here. Going into the negative of the jewel thief. And I got one of those itty bitty red LEDs there. Anyway, I think it's red. I'm colorblind, so bear with me if I tell you that the colors are wrong but there we go and that doesn't work out too well having that behind there but now I have a blinking LED there and I forgot to show you but this thing's running off of eight microamps. Um, let me switch this over and see. I'm going to unplug this again. And I'm going to switch my multimeter over. There you can see 7.2, 7. Point, it, it jumps around a lot, but and the one thing you notice, if I touch the ground, I get a few more microamps out of it. About, I figured my body is worth about three to four microamps. <laughs> so, just a little bit there. And now I'm going to switch back over to volts and plug this back in. And we'll get her blinking again. And I tried this with uh, a 2N. 4401, I think that's what they are, uh, MPS 
A06 and uh, 3904, I believe it was, and all three of those seem to work. Um, I didn't find any of them that work any better, really. Um, but they got them to blink. And now if you look at the blinking, I'm going to touch my finger here to the ground again. And our blinking speeds up, not touching it. Okay, touching it. Not touching it. Touching it. Not touching it. And touching it again. Okay, I thought that was pretty interesting. Now the other interesting thing I found, is let me turn off that light, and I'm gonna pull this transistor out of here. And, let's see. No. That's with no transistor. I'm getting that LED to light with, I'm touching the ground wire with my thumb while I'm holding the camera. Um, you can't, it's very dim. And now I'm taking it away. I'm not touching the ground. And now I'm touching the ground again. Now I'm not. Let's see if I can do this with my little finger. Touching the ground, not touching the ground. Touching the ground. It doesn't really show the difference that well on the camera of what a difference it makes. But I thought it was very interesting that without the transistor in there I could still get that LED to light off of 8 microamps and what the that is showing right now let me see is 1555 so, one and a half volts is what I have on my multimeter right now. And that is some very low power to get an LED to light. So, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. And one of these days, I'm going to try some different coils on here other than this... Uh, toroid um, maybe a, a transformer type coil like this one or something with the ferrite core see what that does and see if I can actually get this thing to light brighter and what I would actually like to do is get this hooked up to a trigger coil and get it to light a CFL off of radiant energy. I think that would be really cool. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.